Hello everyone, uh, my name is Daniel Walker. I'm a building supervisor at the Activities and Recreation Center for the Department of Campus Recreation and Unions. I'd like to welcome the Gill family, friends of the Gills, and all the students and staff who are joining us today to celebrate this remarkable naming ceremony of the Muriel Gill Main Barn. About one year ago, Bob and his wife Muriel gave a generous donation to our department to be used specifically to help reduce costs for students to participate in the Equestrian Center Learn to Ride program and the Cal Aggie Marching Band. Today, we're happy to announce that as of this fall quarter, nearly 40 students have already benefited from this gift. We would like to thank the Gill family for this generous donation and share some stories of the students who are directly impacted by this wonderful gift. Right now, I would like to welcome Laura Hall, the Director of Recreation for the Campus and Recreation Unions, to share a few words. Welcome and thank you all so much for coming. You know, this is an extremely special day for us and, and we're pleased to share it with so many of you. From the moment Bob Gill approached us about the possibility of a donation, we became very excited about what this could potentially mean for our students at UC Davis. The Department of Campus Recreation and Unions is based upon four foundational values and goals. Wellness, student development, community and inclusivity and partnerships. And we're profoundly grateful that the Gill family not only understands our philosophical perspective, but they have now joined and partnered with us to make these values a reality for the students here on campus. Through their generosity, together we're able to ensure that those foundational goals are met better than we've ever been able to meet them. Today, you're gonna to hear directly from our students on how this donation helps to keep our students well in a very holistic sense. You'll hear about how it allows our students to develop themselves outside the classroom in preparation for their post-collegiate careers. And finally, you're gonna hear, and most importantly, how the Gill family's generosity has allowed us to truly promote an inclusive environment where all students on campus have the opportunity to access our recreational services by removing some of the financial barriers. So without further ado, I'd like, I'm excited for you to hear directly from our students and hear some of these stories of the impact of this extremely generous gift from the Gills. Thank you. Thank you, Lord. At this time, I'd like to welcome Jessica and Kelsey McDonald, who both are members of the Cal Aggie Marching Band and who received a fee waiver to pay for a portion of their band dues.
stories that I have heard from Jessica and all of the wonderful memories that she shared with me, I knew that coming to Davis would be one of the best decisions I'd ever made because I knew I could be a part of an organization that would help me emotionally and help me grow as a person to get through such a rough time in my life. So um, we managed to pay for you know all of our band fees and everything that year, and that was challenging. I mean, I worked all of summer, almost a full-time job, to catch up on all of the fees and stuff for school and for band and just for life in general. And, and so, you know, we did it. We got here, we managed to get everything covered, and it was great. Last year, you know, we were able to be together and we were able to, you know, play music and get to do something that we've done since middle school, something we've always enjoyed and something that's always been there for us to keep us entertained and distracted to help us grow. And so when we got the opportunity to apply for the Bob Gill Peak Waiver, um, it meant that we could keep going. It meant that we could, you know, keep playing and not have to be another financial burden on dad and not have to stress about the financial aspect. Um, and so this year, it was just really great to know that we could come back and we could play and we could continue doing something that our mom had always supported and always been so very proud of. Um, you know, and we're happy to be part of the organization and we just wanted to say thank you personally from us and from all of the other recipients of the award and from all of the future recipients. It really makes all the difference in the world. Thank you. Jessica and Kelsey for sharing your story. Uh, at this time, uh, please welcome the Vice Chancellor of Student Affairs, Adela Territory, to share a few words. It is my honor and privilege to recognize the generous gifts from Bob and Muriel Gill with his dedication naming of the Muriel Gill Barn at the UC Davis Equestrian Center. I'd li also like to acknowledge Matt Fisher, who is here with us today, the grandson of Muriel and Bob Gill. Thank you so much, Matt, for being present today. This is a wonderful tribute to the pioneering work, pioneering work of Muriel Gill. It illustrates her commitment to, in her service um, in horsemanship as well as an advocate for equestrian programs. The key of these programs is, as, he's, as the McDonald's sisters illustrated, is it helps us develop for our students important life skills in hundreds and hundreds of ways. Most importantly, behind these gifts is the idea to provide greater access to participate in our, all of our campus equestrian programs and BANDA by providing fee waivers to students who otherwise could not afford or would have to struggle to pay um, for this type of experience. Bob and Muriel's love for UC Davis and for these particular programs has been ongoing for over 60 years. Their belief in the value of these co-curricular programs in fostering student development, academic success, and building community is in line with our mission at Student Affairs. Programs such as the Equestrian Center Writing Program and participation in BANDA are just two examples of the over 600 organizations we have in, for our students at UC Davis. These programs enrich the student experience, provide a real world environment that help our students learn and grow. Through their participation in these programs, our students develop the interpersonal speaking and leadership skills that are essential to student success and their future careers. This is even more critical for many of our first generation students who are entering UC Davis from low income backgrounds and who oftentimes have not had the benefit of these experiences. Over 40% of our students at UC Davis are from first-generation backgrounds. So these co-curricular activities open a new world for them in ways we could never possibly imagine. Bob and Muriel have done important, important contributions through their generations, uh, through their generous gift. 
and have opened the doors for opportunities for many, many of these students. They will have access to life-changing experiences as a direct result of their love and commitment to UC Davis and these programs. These students will benefit from the opportunity to learn from these experiences and use their, these lessons to achieve success in their lives. I want to end to, in, in, with, with these few words by echoing our sincere gratitude for Bob and Muriel's contribution to, to supporting co-curricular activities and learning experiences for our students as they will have a profound impact on the lives of these students, not only today, but in the future. So thank you so much. And thank you, Matt, for being present for this important ceremony. Thank you. Thank you, Vice Chancellor. Uh, please welcome uh, Megan Hayes, who works as a head writing instructor here at the Equestrian Center, uh, to come say a few words. Hello, everyone, and thank you for coming here to help us thank the Gill family for their generous donation. The funds they donated to our recreation writing program allowed us to create the Muriel B. Gill Fee Waiver Program for our students. The Fee Waiver Program allows students who can't afford lessons to apply for a 50% fee reduction to our group writing lessons. Our group writing lessons meet once a week for four weeks and include an hour writing lesson. We have four different writing levels, Intro to Writing, Intro to Trot, Advanced Trot, and Intro to Canner. Ten students every quarter receive this fee waiver after their applications have been reviewed by a committee. Because of the Gill's donation, numerous students this quarter were able to fulfill their dream of learning how to ride a horse. One of our chosen candidates is a current veterinary medicine student at the UC Davis Veterinary Medicine School. She pays about $24,000 a year for tuition without including rent, board, or books. She plans on having her future career in the equine medicine field, and because of this, she feels it is a severe disadvantage for her not knowing how to ride a horse. She knows that to be an effective equine veterinarian, she needs to understand the relationship between horse and rider. She said that if it weren't for the Muriel B. Gill fee waiver program, she wouldn't be able to consider enrolling in the course for lessons. But thanks to the waiver, she can now have a successful career as an equine veterinarian. Another student who had to pay for her education by herself with the help of financial aid and student loans has not been able to participate in any extracurricular activities due to cost. She volunteered at the Equestrian Center one quarter so that she could be near and around horses since she was unable to take lessons. The Muriel B. Gill fee waiver allowed her to take lessons and help her become one step closer to her hope of one day being able to have a horse of her own. So thank you once again for making it feasible for people of all backgrounds and incomes to be able to learn how to work with and ride these amazing creatures. Thank you, Megan. Uh, at this time, we would like to uh, welcome Mr. Matt Fisher to the stage, uh, Mary and Bob's grandson. Hello everybody. Uh, first I'd like to just start off with saying that I left my notes somewhere. Uh, now I'm going to wing it. But um, one very important thing is that I, while I am representing the family, I'm not the only family member that's here today. And uh, Kim Fabier, uh, Muriel's daughter, as well as husband uh, Henry, I saw him floating around here, and Mr. and Mrs. Coleman are here as well. So uh, I'm not the only family member is what I'd like to say. Uh, unfortunately, my grandparents could not be here today. They're not feeling well, and sort of the last minute asked if uh, I could fill in for them. So for that, please forgive me, because I don't have the, uh, the eloquence that they would. Uh, horses have been a very big part of my grandmother's life. In fact, uh, she uh, often talks about how if it wasn't for horses, she would never have met that handsome man that sold her hay, which <laughs> happened to be uh, her husband, Bob. So uh, the thread of horses throughout my grandparents' life has been there this entire time. And uh, when, when we told my grandmother that they were naming a barn after her, which she would, she's still amazed. She's like, well, why would anybody do that? Uh, 
just the humility and the, the humbleness of both of them is evidence. Uh, and I just thank you all for showing up. They would be very honored with that. Uh, kind of asking a little bit more about what the importance of horses uh, were, the common thread was that education happens outside of the classroom. And to provide an opportunity for folks, for students, for Davis students, because now there's three lines of Davis Aggies, you know, my grandparents, my mom, and myself, uh, it's very important. <coughs> that education goes beyond the classroom and the learning that happens, whether it's you know, playing sports or riding horses, which is very much a sport, as you all know, uh, or tilling fields, or just being a part of student politics. And the banda, uh, these are all amazing endeavors which build the individual beyond the academic curriculum. And that, that is tr truly the gift that uh, I think that they would like you to hear from them, that to them that's the opportunity. Um, actions speak louder than words, which is something that they would say often. So they basically told me to keep it simple, keep it short, say thank you. Thank you for the opportunity and go Axe. This concludes our program for today. Um, we again would like to thank the Gill family for the wonderful gift that's, uh, that has helped so many students already and will help many more in the future. Um, please feel free to get some refreshments and listen to the band play a final song. I would like to thank everyone for attending here today.
Oh, one, two, three. Oh, one, two, three, four.
Thank <laughs> you.